Welcome to our video series, where we explore tools to help maintenance and operations teams succeed. I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep. Today, we will delve into a key performance metric that directly impacts your productivity, mean time between failure or MTBF for short. We'll learn how to calculate it, how it can be improved, and its vital role in equipment uptime. So if you want to better understand your equipment's availability and reliability, stick around. Let's dive into the world of mean time between failure, a crucial metric that measures the average time that equipment is operating between breakdowns or stoppages. It's typically measured in hours and is a valuable tool for businesses to understand the availability and reliability of their equipment. So how exactly do we use MTBF? Well, it's a maintenance metric that indicates the duration that equipment operates without disturbances. This directly relates to the availability of the equipment, also known as uptime, which is a key indicator of overall equipment effectiveness. And let's be honest, who doesn't want to improve productivity? And equipment's total uptime can be expressed in terms of the MTBF, along with another metric, the MTTR, or mean time to repair. However, it's important to remember that MTBF is only applicable to repairable items. It's a great tool for manufacturing processes to plan for contingencies that require the repair of key equipment. Having this data at your fingertips can provide valuable insights for making sound decisions for the plant. Now there's another metric that relates time with failure, and that's MTTF, or mean time to failure. Mean time to failure is a measure of time, but it quantifies the time before equipment totally breaks down. The key difference between MTTF and MTBF is that MTTF is only applicable to items that are not repairable. The assumption is that once the MTTF is reached, the item has reached its maximum hours of service. So how do we calculate MTBF? It's pretty simple. You take the total time a piece of equipment is running, that's the uptime, and divide it by the number of breakdowns that occurred over the same period. Let's look at an example. Imagine a mechanical mixer designed to operate for 10 hours per day. If the mixer breaks down after normally operating for five days, the MTBF for this case is 50 hours. But what about when we account for longer periods of time with increased occurrences of breakdowns? Let's say that the same mechanical mixer running for 10 hours per day breaks down twice in the span of 10 days. The first breakdown occurred 25 hours from the start time and took three hours to repair. The second breakdown occurred 50 hours from the start time and took four hours to repair before the mixer was operating normally. For this example, the total uptime period is the sum of 25, 22, and 46 hours. Given the total uptime and number of breakdowns, the MTBF is calculated as 46.5 hours. So how can we improve mean time before failure? Increasing the mean time before failure increases the uptime of equipment. Keeping track of the MTBF for each piece of equipment, especially those that require continuous operation, allows the maintenance team to efficiently schedule maintenance activities. The first step to improving mean time before failure is to ensure that the data being collected is accurate. Tools such as various maintenance software can ensure that data is being recorded correctly and accurately. The next step is using this data to proactively perform preventive maintenance. Investing time to perform maintenance checks and activities, such as checking for proper lubrication, aligning calibration systems, and cleaning can significantly reduce the number of major stoppages due to breakdowns. Lastly, let's talk about how to relate mean time before failure to system availability. As we've mentioned before, availability metrics are expressed in terms of MTBF and MTTR. Think of it as calculating the availability based on the actual time that the machine is operating, excluding the time it takes for the machine to recover from breakdowns. This is quantified by the equation. Availability equals MTBF divided by MTBF plus MTTR. Availability is one of the three factors contributing to the overall equipment effectiveness of a plant. This equation signifies the relationship of improving the MTBF and other metrics related to improving the plant's performance. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you now have a better understanding of the mean time between failure metric, how to calculate it, and how it can be used to improve your operations. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. If you want to learn more about how Upkeep can help your team succeed, visit us at upkeep.com. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.